Good morning, everybody. Good morning. There we go, first eyeball on me. How are you this Tuesday morning? Welcome to our live workout. There we go. Somebody give me a thumbs up and say we're good. There we go. My wife jumped on, that helps. I got eight eyeballs. Somebody give me a thumbs up if they can hear me, if the music sounds good. There we go, Allison. Happy Tuesday. All right, Paige, I love it. Love that attitude. Let's do this. Here we go. I have a workout set over here for us. I uh, already screenshot that and sent it to our marketing team. Uh, hopefully they're gonna post that for us so you can actually see the exercises as well. Um, we can post that in the comments, I think, as we're rocking and rolling. Happy Tuesday morning. This is gonna be a body weight plus hit. So I'm gonna mix in little hits in there. Uh, you're gonna need today, hopefully a towel, uh, a water bottle, make sure you stay hydrated. I'm actually grabbing a chair because I think that'll be uh, super functional for you, but what you can see behind me is a couch as well. So um, I'll probably do a couple of different uh, modes there, but instead of facing you straight away, I thought I would have the chair at an angle so you'll be able to see me as we go. So if you have any sort of chair, that'd be great. If not, if you have a couch, you just adapt. So where no one's, uh, no one's gonna be sitting facing with you with the camera, so we should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna kick this over here for now. Slide that back out of the way. Let me read a couple comments. Everybody doing good? Nice. Happy Tuesday. Okay, here we go. Let's start out those bodies. First, we're gonna do a little toe grab. So reach down, grab those feet. We're gonna be here reaching down. Lock out those legs the best you can. Once you're there, you're gonna be bending those knees down. Sink through. So if you can only grab your ankles, that's great. If you can grab those toes, grab them, and now we're gonna rock back up. Go ahead and do this for about 20 seconds. Lock those legs out, sink through. Get that whole posterior chain nice and loose. Hamstrings, calves, Achilles. Rocking through. One more rep for me. There we go. Little arm circle for me for a sec. As I touch the ceiling. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep that in mind when I jump later, right? Bring those hands in and out. Should have done this in my bonus room where I have more height. Welcome to our front room. In front of me is two big windows and our front yard. How's everybody doing? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jody. Morning, John. Okay, here we go. First thing we're gonna do is that big old Verstegen walkout. You know, this is one of my favorites if you know me well. So both feet together. I'm gonna walk out to you like a big inchworm. Then I'm gonna do a big step forward with that foot. Try and get as far as you can mobility-wise. Open up those hips. Then we're gonna turn and rotate. So I'm gonna kind of do a little sideways here so you see it. Walk out, inchworm our way on out. Once I get out to that plank position, then I'm gonna make that big step from this position. Try and lock out that back leg and uh, Achilles tendon or, or calf. And then I'm gonna open myself up. Take away the inside hand so I have the stability of the outside leg. Reach through and then open back up. Reach through, open back up. If you can, bring that elbow down. Try and drive the elbow towards the toe. Big hamstring stretch. Then we're gonna switch sides. So that hand's there. Foot goes back. Take that left foot all the way up. Try and be up towards that hand if you can. Same thing here, open up that inside hand, rotate through, now I'm gonna reach. Reach past that elbow, open up, and reach. One more time, open up and reach. 
Now we're taking that elbow down to the ground if you can. Lock out that back leg, get the full effect. There we go. As we walk back out of this inchworm, try and keep your heels down as long as you can. Pull right back up out of that guy. All right, those are your savings. How's everybody doing? Checking in. Okay, moving along. All right, now we're gonna jump on our backs, um, which is called supine, just like I'm holding the bowl of soup. So jump back on that back. We're gonna swing our leg from side to side, loosen up those low backs. So I'm gonna slide my chair up out a little bit. I'm gonna come towards you. So you see my leg lock all the way out here? Try and lock that out the best you can. If it's here, that's fine. If it's here, it's fine. Whatever's best for you, but you're gonna rotate across. See if you can get that shoulder to stay down. Now I'm gonna rock it back and forth. Open it up, swing it across, all the way back out. Really stretch that adductor. This is one of the best stretches because we take the weight off our body. So it's not putting that load on the lower back, it's actually stretching that lower back out, warming this guy up back here. Open up those adductors too. One more on this side and I'm gonna switch. Switch those feet up. Now it's coming to you. Foot goes out, trying to keep this back shoulder down. Open all the way up. I gotta scoot over. Open all the way up, loosen up that inside adductor. Leg comes over. Leg comes all the way up. Open up that hip. Open up those adductors. Nice job. Let's do one more of these. There we go. Uh, next one we're gonna be on our stomach. Um, as you're there, these are called little scorpion heel kicks. And same thing, this is amazing rotation, taking our body weight off of it. This is gonna help later with those skydivers we do. We're trying to get that whole posterior chain going. So what you're gonna see here is when I'm on my stomach, I'm stabilizing with those hands. I'm gonna drive that knee across, uh, I'm sorry, that heel across in the back, tap that heel behind me. So here we go. I'm gonna do 10 on each side, so it looks like this. On my tummy, bring that heel up. Here comes that stinger, the scorpion. Reach out and touch that bad boy. You can see I'm gonna go from side to side each time. Driving through. Tap that heel. Tap that heel. Now if you can, you can stay low like this. There we go. Had a water bottle casualty. Look great in there. Okay, here we go. That was our warm up. Let's kick this thing off. Everybody got any questions? You gonna hit me up before we get going? Hi, Lena. We got 26 viewers. Here we go. Number one is gonna be traveling push ups. I'm gonna turn sideways. You're gonna watch me do a push up, watch me go hand over hand over hand with my feet, then another push up. Whatever you can get to is fine. Don't worry about dropping down to your knees. So we can bring this down a little bit, but I do want the lateral motion. So get in that plank position, be able to go side to side. Here we go. Hands will be out in front. First thing I'm gonna do is drop into that push up. So here we are, push up, drive out. Remember you can be on your knees if you want to. And then I'm gonna take a little lateral step over to the side. It looks like this. Cross my hand, bring those feet over. And then I'm up next to you as I do a push up. Now I'm going back, cross that hand, and push up. Okay, let me give you two more times. Walk it up, walk it back. I'm looking for you, I see you. Come on, ramp it up. I'll give you a little faster. Maybe I'll catch you on the last one. Here we go, push, 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 push. And perfect. Nice job. Try it for about 20, 30 seconds there. Okay, exercise number two. These are coming to you in fours. First one was that traveling push ups. Now I'm gonna bring in that chair. So grab your chair, or like I said, couch. First thing we're gonna do is a little Bulgarian split squat. So foot goes up. Remember, if this is our couch, foot's gonna go up here. So foot can be here. My front foot, which you're gonna see when I turn sideways, needs to be pretty far forward. Then I'm gonna stay upright, 
nice and vertical as I drop into that big Bulgarian. See that? Go as deep as you can. Here's what it looks like from the side. Foot's up. Do 10 reps on each side. See my toes nice and forward so when I get here, my foot is out in front of that knee. Here we go, ready? 10 on each side. Hopefully you're already ahead of me a little bit. And I'm gonna switch sides. Making sure that foot is up there nice and stable first. Nice and deep. Any questions so far? How's it look on the feet? Yep. Perfect. Knock out those 10. Nice job. All right. Warming up those quads, right? Just by having that foot elevated really ups the ante a little bit for us. So instead of doing a regular lunge, that Bulgarian's a little bit spicier. Okay, next one. Let's do our body weight tricep push-ups. So let's bring in this chair one more time. As I'm on that chair, you're going to see I'm going to kick my body weight up. So I can be here by bending those knees. Now I'm loaded. I'm gonna turn my chair sideways, sorry. Here we go. Coming down, pressing back out. Pressing back out. So we're looking for 10 of these. Remember, if I bring my feet closer, it's not so hard. I don't have so much body weight on there. So there's a lot like a TRX. The more that I front load this bad boy and get my weight to the top, the more challenging it is. Drive those triceps out. If I was on a couch, here we go. Watch my bottom. Load it, drive it. Now you can see why I brought on the chair. So it should be about 10 reps of those. Really drive those triceps up, get full extension in that arm. Here we go with our little skydivers. I promised these in our warm up. Skydivers are incredible because they work the whole posterior chain of our body. So you're gonna see my hamstrings because my knees bent going up. You're gonna see my upper back firing. Gonna look like this. Hands are gonna be down. Press up like I'm falling through the air like a skydiver. Then we're going to add a little special thing with that little W in there. And the W, the reason why it's called that, because it looks like this. So with my head being in the middle of that W, you see that thing firing. So here's the full action. We're going to do five of these because we're going to hit it one more set through in a second. So it looks like this. Everything's down. Knees are bent up. What I'm looking for is daylight underneath that quad. See that? So on the count of one, go, up, hold, hold, I'm flying, and down. When we're down, we're gonna bring those hands out, bring them back up. There's that W, see that? One more time, out, and up. Here we go again, number two. Up, hold, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hammies, pull your shoulders back, and down. Here we go for our W, out, and up. Number three, up, hold, squeeze those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes, now we're down. Here goes those hands, W, good. Number four, ready? Up, holding, holding, a little extra, good, down, W. Last one. Bring it up, hold, hold, and W. There we go. First set through, we got two sets today. Go ahead and have, grab a little water break, towel off, I know I'm gonna need to. There we go, getting a little sweaty. A little bit of hydration. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them real quick, I'll field them. We're going to go back through those same four exercises, follow it up with a really nice hit to get that heart rate up. So if you have any questions, fire away while you're taking that little water break. Another 20 seconds. Checking. Nope, we're good. All right, here we go. That's probably a bad sign, no questions. <laughs> Hopefully. 
Hopefully you got all this. I'm gonna kick my chair up. We'll do those traveling push-ups. So goal here is if you can do them, do 10. I'm gonna do a little progression down here and then I'll and midway through do a progression up. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and time us just so we can get those things in. Let's go for about 30 seconds. On my knees, here's that progression. Look, press up, press out. Pop up to your feet and now just travel. Small steps, small steps, small steps. Back to those knees and press. Pop back up, walk over, walk over, walk over and back. Here's that upgrade. About 23 seconds, I'll get one of these in, remember? Push up, drive up, cross the hand, cross the hand. Push up, cross the hand, cross the hand. Push up. Nice job. Hopefully you like those guys, traveling push-ups. Here we go for our chair uh, Bulgarian squats. A little split squat action. I'm gonna turn a little sideways this time. See if I can get you a better look at where that foot goes out front. So one foot's gonna go back on your couch or chair. See me do that little hop out? If you need to, put a wall next to you. You can easily grab a wall as you're doing this for stability. So hands are here, drop back in there. I'm gonna go 10 on each leg. Let me know if you want the music up. Hopefully you can hear me well. And switching legs. Foot's out in front of my knee. Get nice and vertical. Drop down in it. Nice job. Driving through those quads. One more for me. And done. Bringing those triceps in now. You could even do a little progression here instead of using the chair. You could be on your knees and do a little tricep push-up too. Keep those triceps firing. I'm gonna give you a chair. Load my body weight over it, so I'm in that bear-like stance. I'm gonna rep out 10 of these. Here we go. Down, extend. Down, extend. Use that body weight. Let that muscle group be on demand. Remember, time under tension is what you want. Quality form. Nice job. Feel it after those push-ups, right? So go back and forth. All right, back to those skydivers. I think I'm gonna try a little angle here so you can see me this time. Dropping down, we got five skydivers, five W's. Here we go. On that stomach. Remember, you want to lift those quads up off the ground. So here we go. Ready, go. And down. Give me my W. In. Out. Big squeeze. Up. And down. Big W. In. Out. Number three. Squeeze. Get that thing up. Get those quads up. And down. Reach out. Back in. Number four, up. Nice job, and down. W, last one, here we go, skydive. Woo, falling through the air. And down. W, in, and out. Nice job, everybody. Little breather, quick little water break, and we're gonna hit that first hit. First one is gonna be, uh, I don't know if you can say this on Facebook Live, but we'll call them bottom kickers. I had another word planned, but... All right, little towel off, little sip of water. After this little hit, we'll be a third of the way through the program. So, not quite sure exactly where I'm at on time. What time is it? Oh, you're great. You've been here 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. 20. Uh, Years of, years of planning to get there. <laughs> All right, but we have four exercises today. In between, we have a hit. Four more exercises, three of those rounds. We're doing two rounds of every exercise. So basically, you got 12 exercises for two sets. This is very similar how I run my uh, hit classes uh, there at the Magnus Athletic Club. 
I know John and Matt do uh, a similar style uh, over there at Issaquah Fitness, and you guys are used to that quick little progression as you go through this. Hopefully the exercises are challenging so you can learn new stuff too. So it's not the cookie cutter stuff you see on TV. All right, here we go. This one is a bottom kicker. You can say the ASS word if you want. So this is one of my favorites. Dropping your hips back in it is the key. You want to be vertical once you're in that seated position. And then, boom, comes the kick. So we're going to do 15 seconds each side. I'm going to go ahead and time this. Here we go. I'm going to give you a demo. Hands are up. Feet are in tight. The key here is the heel. So pivot off that heel. What you'll notice is when I rock back, I'm sinking myself in here. My abs should be firing. I'm going to pivot off one heel. I'm going to choose my left and then kick out that right leg. See that? John would appreciate that nice little kick there. But then I come back in, never touch that right heel, and then kick back out. So we're gonna do this for 15 seconds as we race through. Ready? Here we go. Pop up. I'm going left. Here, out, here, out. Kick that thing through. Show me some power. Drive it in. Drive it out. Tuck it under every time. And switch. Here we go. Pop it up. All the way, kick out, tuck. Out, tuck. Out, driving through that heel. Make it rock. Two more. Nice job. Now you know why they call it a butt kicker, right? Not only is it conditioning, it's also a hip hinge, so it's working those glutes, and you get full extension of the leg, so it works on mobility. Okay, second set. Bring it back in those chairs. This one's a little fun, a little different. Again, you won't see this one anywhere else except for with us three. <laughs> so foot will be up top. Looks like a Bulgarian uh, split squat. So you've already kind of been there before. We're gonna hinge backwards this time and then get a reach. All that action happens on the same side. So here's what goes. Foot goes back. That foot's gonna be up just like before. Instead of me driving down, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna hinge backwards. So it looks like this. Hinge. See that butt go backwards? Reminds us of a deadlift, right? Watch that same side reach. So I got 10 on each leg, it goes like this, ready? Hinge. Back. Hinge. Back. Make sure you're getting that glute to fire. You should feel this more in your bottom than you should in your quad. Rock those hips back. Halfway there. Nice job. Reach out. Elongate that hand. One more for me. Good. Switching sides up. Foot comes pretty far forward. Remember that? Foot goes back. So once I hinge, I'm going to fall back with that glute. Remember, this is not an up and down. Hinging back. Same side hand goes out. Nice job. This side you can go out with balance if you want. It can be on your hip if you want. Should see that bottom going backwards. Reach out with that hand. Nice job. Three more. Hinge and back. So hopefully that's a new one for you. It's a little hinge with the same side reach. Okay, here we go for a little prisoner action. This one's got a little spicy middle one. That's where I said I better watch the ceiling, right? So we'll see what we do on this one. So we're gonna drop to our knees. You can use a mat, you can use a big cushy towel. You can put pillows underneath yourself. If you have a pillow, just be careful to walk up and over it. So here we go. What do prisoners do? They start with their hands behind their head. So if my hands are here and I step up, that's dropping up from a kneeling position into a standing position like a good happy prisoner. So we're gonna do 10 of these. What's up? What I would like is you're gonna switch feet every time. If you're one of my upgraded uh, followers here today, give a little jump at the top. So I'll show you that. So it's down, start here, up, up, pop, down. Up, up, pop, down. For everybody else, let's just march these out. Alternate those feet, ready, let's go. 10. If you already started, just get a few more in, right? Bring that left foot forward. Bring that right foot forward. 
Left foot forward. And right foot forward. Nice job. Always add that little progression if you need to, a little kick up. So next one's gonna be a single leg RDL, which we know is here. As I hip hinge, I'm gonna be there. So you can go down and touch. You can stay in the air. But what I do want is a fly added in there. So we're gonna do five on one leg, five on the other, so we get our full 10. So here, hinge in my hips, really try and elongate yourself out. Don't forget that fly. So ready, go. Find that balance point, kick it up, and back out. Find a spot out in front of you so you don't dance on your ankle like I did. Here, there. Two more, here, and there. One more, and there. And we're gonna switch sides. Get that leg warmed up for us, hinge, and then kick out. Woo, look at that little side ankle fired. Work that left ankle. There we go. Had to wake it up this morning. Here. 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 Two more. Here. Here. Good. Here. And here. Nice job. Made it through that second round one time through. Take a little break for a sec, quick water. Ask a question if you got one. Check and see if there's any questions. Not yet, you're doing good. Hey, Brad. Mm -hmm. Hi, Karen. Almost Here we go, round two. So this is our whole second series of four exercises. We're gonna march back through for another round. Following that, we're gonna come in with that little hit to get our heart rate up. Here we go, right out of the gates, we're doing those, uh, those chair reaches. So we're gonna bring those back in. So remember we're gonna turn, foot goes up, same side is gonna reach out towards you. So hopefully you can see that. Walk that foot out so it's out in front of my toe. Same side is gonna reach, so here we go. 10. Remember, I'm going backwards with those hips. Big reach. Nice job. 10 on each leg. Reaching out, really elongate that same side hand. One more. Nice job. Switching feet. Anybody have any questions, Rebecca? No, you're good. And reach. That means somebody wasn't paying attention. What should the question be, everybody? What happened to exercise number four in that series? <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I skipped one. Here we go. Last one. Nice job. Here's the one I skipped. <laughs> Foot comes up. Make sure I have a nice platform here. Now as I step up on this, I'm gonna slowly fall backwards. And this is the one I always set up for all my skiers. More important than me stepping up is me coming down slowly, getting that eccentric contraction. So this is concentric. This is eccentric. Drive up, we got 10 on each side. How am I doing on height? Oh, nice. Barely making it in. Fall. Drive it up. And fall. Fall. Ten on each side. Remember, you can do this on the couch. I'll do my left side on the couch so you all see it. Last one. Good. I've got my couch there. It looks like this. Squishy, gonna be a little harder. Step up, fall back. Step up, fall back. Nice job. One more. There we go. 
Great work. Here we go for those prisoners. Remember we can add that little spicy upgrade at the end with that little jump in there. So hands behind. Everybody be a prisoner like you're on lockdown in your houses. But wait, we are. Here we go. Up. Switch feet. Up. Switch feet. Up. What's my upper progression team doing? Jumping, right? Let's go team. One more for me. Good, hopefully that was 10 in there. Still trying to watch my head. Here we go, single leg RDL with those flies. Single foot's gonna pick a spot, look about three feet out in front. Here we go. As I hinge, bring that hand out. Drive it through. Let's do five on each side. There we go, hands are up. Switching sides. Last one. Good job, everybody. Quick little towel breather. Coming in with two hits this time. Two more aggressive ones. We're about midway through the workout, and here comes the fire. I told myself, don't forget the fan next time you do your HIIT workout inside your house. what I do? Forgot the fan. <laughs> All right. Almost ready. Coming in for some predator jacks. Here we go. Anybody who's an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan knows the Predator. Starting with those hands out. In that big, ah, position like a Predator. Here we go. We're gonna pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. So the feet do the same thing. Looks like this. Your rate of speed is gonna be based on your conditioning level. There we go, 30 seconds. Nice. Show me your best predator. Ah! But that came across great, didn't it, on Facebook? Here we go. Last 10 seconds, I'm gonna kick it up. What do you got? In and out. Here we go. Nice. A little 20 seconds off, coming in for the next one for you. Ten more seconds. Everybody doing okay? Next one is going to march out. As we get in that walkout, we got four times, two on each side, gives us our four, and then we're going to walk back out. What that's doing is giving us that twisted mountain climbers. Thirty seconds. And go. I'm gonna walk towards you. Walk all the way out. One leg's gonna come in, and the leg's gonna go out. See that? And then walk back out. Gonna turn so you get to see it a little better. Turn, 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 and turn. Back out. Nice job. One more round through. Walk it out. Twist, twist. One more. Good, and walk it back out. There we go. Walk out with a twisted uh, mountain climber. Good job, little breather. That was our hit. Come back in for that last series of four exercises. How's everybody doing? How are you doing? Hi, Sophia. What? Yeah, I opened the door. <laughs> Next time, dance. Somebody remind me of it. Here we go. 
bringing this chair back in. Now on this one, like we said, use your couch or use that chair. Only reason I'm doing the chair is otherwise I'd be facing you. So heel's gonna be up. You're gonna lay all the way flat, supine on that back. You can still see that chair, yep. Foot comes up top here. Couple options here, you can cross this leg over or you can elevate it. You choose. I'm gonna drive down with this thing. What happened if I didn't drive down? I would use my quad and I'd push the chair away. So we wanna make this about your posterior chain, calf and hamstring. Legs here, head goes all the way back, drive up and down. 10 on each side. Drive that up, drive it there. Get full extension, hip comes up, then down. And switch sides. Legs going elevated, drive up and down. Nice job, drive through that hamstring. Drive it up. Two more. Nice job. Okay, bringing in some bird dogs. So now bird dogs, which uh, if you've had physical therapy, really loosens up that spine, works on that motor cortex to make sure that both sides of your brain are firing, so it's that cross crawl. So two options here. The upper uh, progression is gonna be up on your toes, lower progression is down on those knees. So if we're down here on those knees, we're gonna be here, and then uh, come a little closer, just don't kick my couch. We're gonna be here, and then press out. So opposite leg, opposite foot. Big reach, see if you can keep that lower back nice and flat to the ground, and then switch sides. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. I'm gonna do five in this position, and then get up and do five in that position. So there's your upgrade. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Keeping that back flat, belly button point towards the uh, ground for us. Nice job. One more and I'll switch to the upgrade. Get up in that bear stance. Now kick it out. Reaching out, big reach. Nice job. Cranking away, hope everybody's having a good morning. Here we go, we're gonna use that chair one more time and drive off of it. So I'm gonna show you this guy. You can also use the couch. So we'll probably start with the couch first. Hands are going to be out in front, and I'm just going to drive those knees. So it's going to look like this. In my plank. Driving through, driving through. Can you see that? Probably not as well as I'd like. That's why I brought the chair. My feet are going to be up here. So once I'm out in my plank, I release that knee. What it does is leave me hanging in the air. All right, here we go. 30 seconds. And start. Wrap those out. Drive those knees. You keep it going. I'm going to come check. That's halfway there. Let's go. Ten seconds. Hiring. Hi, Margareta. What's up, Andy? And stop. Should have felt that, those hands are out in front. Now what, what if that's a little bit high of a progression? Can I do that on the ground? Absolutely. I can put my elbows on the couch. Could look just like this. Elbows on the couch. And then drive through. So if my shoulders bother me or my wrists bother me, there's always that progression where you can bring that back down. Okay, here we go. So that is um, our plank with the knee drives. We've done the glute bridge raising through. Bird dogs, let's bring our last one in, which is that side plank. So side plank progressions go like this. I'm gonna slide back a little bit so you can see me. I'm gonna give you three options. First option's here. Hand goes down on that elbow. Feet are outside here. I'm just gonna drive that hip up off the ground. So it looks like this. Bridge up, bridge down. Make sure that elbow's underneath my shoulder. 
That elbow's out here too much, way too much torque on that shoulder. So it can be here, up and down. It can be here, once I'm up, hold it, then drive through. The upper progression is gonna be here. Hand goes all the way up, foot goes all the way up, and now I'm reaching. So we're gonna do 15 seconds on each side. I'm gonna slide over here so I'm not sliding everywhere on my hardwoods. Um, kick this out, we're gonna do 15 seconds. Here we go, I'm gonna face you. Bring that guy up, bring the elbow to the hand. Let's try that guy. Nice and flat, keeping that bridge up. Drive that elbow through. Remember, you can be on your elbow versus hand. Nice job, switching sides. Pop up on that elbow. I added the extra uh, enjoyment of sliding in my socks on my hardwoods, like risky business. Nice job. All right, quick little breather. We'll go back through those same four exercises. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. I'm gonna check. Everybody doing good? Yeah, here we go. Let's start out with our bird dogs. Run back through those four exercises and we'll bring in that last hit. That's my total time. You're at 42. Here we go. On your knees, reaching out. Big reach, big reach. Get that hand to go out away from you. Stem that back foot all the way out. Remember the upgrade, here it is. Once I'm up on those feet, it's here. Last one. All right, use that chap, uh, couch or chair, foot goes up top. Drive it through that heel. Make sure that our heel is pulling down so that we're driving up. Here we go. Drive up, down slow. Drive up, down slow. Drive through that hamstring. Great job. Three more. And switch sides. Foot goes up, drive through your heel. If you see that chair moving away from me, you know my quad's working too hard. Should be that hamstring. Nice job. Here we go. Remember, you can use the couch for your feet or the chair and drive in through. I'm going to take the couch this time. Hands will be out in front, driving those guys through. Sit in that plank and drive. Get those knees going. 30 seconds. Nice job. Driving through. And done. I don't know if I'm the only one that's seen this yet, if you guys haven't, but uh, make sure you're staying tuned on our Magnuson Athletic Club Facebook page as well as Issaquah Fitness, and you'll see uh, Max Challenge. He flips into a handstand, feet on the wall, takes off his shirt, takes off his shorts. He did have undershirts. Uh, and then puts it all back on again, all while sitting in a handstand. So, little teaser for you, make sure you check back in. Okay, here we go. Last one's that side plank. Remember those three options. On your elbow, make sure you're down below that shoulder. You can be up on that hand as well. So here we go. 15 seconds. I'm just going to drive out. Stay at that lower progression and just drive. 
Remember, you can also bring those hands in, right? Drive that hip up. Use that elbow for leverage. Make those side obliques fire. And switch. There we go. Elbows under. Drive out. Halfway there. And done. Nice job. How's everybody doing? Cruising along on a Tuesday morning, right? Okay, we made it through those four. We have one less hit to go. In the meantime, another teaser for you. I'm going to shoot these exercises, put them into workouts, a couple of mini workouts, and you're going to see these later. So it's not going to be in this exact format, although you can tune back in and watch this anytime because we'll repost this on Facebook so you see the whole workout. But I'm going to shoot them to you in little progressions so you get better at each exercise. So our goal is education as well as entertainment. Burn a little calories, but boy, if you can learn some new movements, that's the key. Get stronger. Challenge yourself. We all have a little bit more time to get fit these days, so let's focus on that. Focus on some good tasks. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a little something different. Finish off our last little 30 second hit. We're going to do 15 on each side. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to be back in that bear position where my hands are underneath me. Stay nice and tight so I'm not out wide. Feet are up underneath me. I'm going to take away same side hand and same side foot. That means i got to stay stable on the other side. So I know Mac, if he's watching, will crush this. Let's uh, get better. Let's try and get better at this. Hands down. Here it goes. Not only is there a little single hand touch, there's also an elbow smash. So it looks just like this. Here we go. Same side touch, smash. Opposite, same side touch, smash. Same side touch, rotate back. Same side touch, rotate back. So I'm trying to get that feet and those hands up. Here we go. 15 seconds each side. Last hit, ready to go. Halfway there. And last one. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Nice. There we go. A little challenge. Make it spicy. Okay, for the cool down, we have a little bit of core. Bring in a hollow body hold with an arm sweep. So a big fly in there. Everybody like that? A little something new? Any questions? I see stuff commenting. Yep. Oh, nice. I like that, John. Here we go. I guess I can hold it up. Here we go. Get that hollow body rock. Upper body's up. Lower body's up. Looks like this. Up, point the toes. Hands are out. I'm going to make sure I can sweep through. Give myself some more space. So we can go 15 to 30 seconds, up to you. Hands are out, hold that hold, get up, and now sweep it through. Up, sweep it through, point those toes. Keeping those shoulders up off the ground. Nice job. Hollow body hold with a fly. Bringing it through. Five more seconds. Nice job. Okay, last exercise. Here we go for some more core. We're at 50 Try to make it a little different for you, a little spicy. Give you some stuff that you're not seeing everywhere else. Okay, hammer throws. Get that rotational core. If you know a lot about me, you know I love lateral movement and I love rotational movement. 
Everything else is pretty linear that you see at the gym. So, one foot's gonna turn. See that? It's like I'm Elvis on the Ed Sullivan Show. Kicking that hip. Hands are down like I got a hammer. Like I'm in the Olympics, which unfortunately are close pump. I'm gonna turn and turn. See that foot down there? Turn, turn. All right, twist that foot into the ground like you're trying to smash a bug. Rotate through. 15 seconds each side. If you're with me, we're gonna kick it up. Here we go, the last five seconds. Show me some power. Nice, switching sides. Other foot's gonna rotate. Get those hips to turn. Hands are down. Rotate, rotate. Show me that power. Like you're trying to launch a hammer. How far can you throw it? Generate that power. Three seconds. Nice job. Hope everybody's doing well. How we feeling? Made it through three sets of those four progressions. Each one had two. Like I said, we'll post this uh, workout for you if you haven't seen it yet. You can go back through it. Always helps if you see the name, see what it is as you're going through these. That's why I'm gonna shoot those videos for you. So each one's kind of a little learning lesson. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. As we cool down, give you a couple slow down movements. Thanks for joining us today. Each week, we're putting out five different workouts. Hopefully to keep connected with you guys. I know there's lots of options out there, so we appreciate you choosing us, especially when this is your gym. So we want to stay connected with you guys. So hands behind, lock out those elbows, and I'm gonna dip down. So if you like what's coming now, you're gonna get a lot more of that on Friday. With me, you're gonna have mobility and core. So we'll lose that high intensity, but we'll get a lot of movement, work a lot of those key core movements we have. Remember that mobility equals longevity. One more. What total time is it? Yep, you're good. What time? Uh, 52 minutes so far. There we go. Sinking through. Good. Last one. Nice job. Let's go back to our uh, floor again. We're going to kick that leg up and over. This time taking our time as we reach to. So all the way nice and flat. Bring that leg up. We're gonna go from side to side. So it's gonna be here and there. Hands are out to my side, I'll give myself that leverage. Try and keep those shoulders down. Open all the way up, get those adductors. Keep that dynamic flow. Loosen it up. Get that lower back happy again. Get those adductors loosened up. And switch sides. Leg goes up, up and over. Big twist, open that leg up. Nice job, loosen up that inside of your thigh. Let that guy go down, keep that shoulder down. One more. Nice job. Let's do a little piriformis glute bridge. Bring one leg over the other. Raise up. Just hold that there for a sec. Drive through your heel. And down. Drive up. And down. If you bring that leg down here, that's going to stretch that glute more. Drive up. And switch sides. Cross that leg over. Remember to push down if you need to. Get that hip to release. Driving through. Nice job. One more. <clears throat> Here we go for my favorite hamstring exercise. A little stretch, I should say. On a single knee, you're going to bring that leg out. Try and keep the foot down on the instep. So it looks like this. Bring that foot out. 
Make sure it's pointing towards uh, the same direction as your knee. And I'm going to slide that guy out. Show me what your flexibility is and stop there. I can use those hands to give myself that body weight and take a little bit off. So open that leg up. Show me what kind of stretch you can get. We're going to slowly work our way towards the foot with our hands, taking some of that weight away. Now I'm going to tilt onto that heel and bring the toes into the sky. As I'm there, you'll notice it goes from an adductor stretch into that hamstring stretch. So I can bring my leg around, drop in there, show off if you got the skills. Reach out a little bit, stretch out those hamstrings, and switch sides. So rotate back around, use those hands to take some of that weight load off, slide that foot out, make sure it's pointing straight towards the same direction as your knee. There you go. Slowly working myself towards that foot. Then you're going to bring those toes up towards the sky. You can bring the hand over if you want. That's more hamstring. And lock out. See if you can reach through there. Big stretch. If you're up off the ground, it's all right. We're all built different. So each of us have uh, more range of motion. I'm super uh, flexible, but that also led to me tearing my ACL in football. So. Flexibility on one side, strength and rigidity on the other. You want to have that balance in between. So, hope everybody had a great time. I enjoyed having you in my uh, front room. Rebecca's art on the wall. <laughs> Welcome to my front room. Um, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you again on Friday. Here's Rebecca. Another good hallway workout. <laughs> She's been uh, managing everything on the side for me. Uh, time, sound. So if you like the music, give her a thumbs up. Um, and also doing the workout with us on the side. So, any questions, uh, fire them away on this feed. I'm going to check back in later today and answer. You always know how to reach us and contact us too. Um, we all have our own socials, but Instagram's a great way to grab us uh, for both of our clubs. Um, we have emails uh, internally too, so if you want a more lengthy question, you can shoot that to, to John and Mac and myself. Uh, tune in tomorrow, and then each day this week you'll get a different workout. We tried to build out a nice complimentary uh, package so that each one of our members could do five days a week of workouts if they wanted because I'm a little different every day. So thank you very much for having us. Happy Tuesday. Remember, it all starts with our minds, so keep yourself happy and positive. Reach out, call friends, stay active, go for walks. If you can get outside, get outside. So be human. Don't be locked up in your house and sit stable. Get away from the TV. Restrain yourself from the pantry. All right, thanks for joining me. Uh, until next time. Bye, Jenny. See you Friday. Bye, Lisa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Barb. So fun to have my brother and Sophia. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Judy. This is great. All right, guys. So much fun. Love to uh, spend the morning with you guys. All right. Peace out. See you Friday.